Sudan's longest-serving leader has been arrested. Omar al-Bashir has ruled Sudan for three decades. He rose to power in the late 1980s by leading a military coup against then-Prime Minister Sadiq al-Mahdi. At the time, an unknown general, Bashir would dramatically change Sudan's political landscape. His tenure has been defined by war. First, the Second Sudanese Civil War between the government in the north and the Sudanese People's Liberation Army in the south. That conflict stretched from 1983 until 2005 and left the country deeply scarred and divided. But it's the conflict in Darfur shortly after that has come to define Bashir. The president is accused of carrying out a genocide against ethnic minorities. The International Criminal Court has issued an arrest warrant for him, limiting his ability to travel outside the country. Under Bashir, Sudan split into two countries, with the creation of South Sudan in 2011. The secession of South Sudan has crippled Sudan's economy, as most oil reserves now belong to the world's youngest country. Corruption and economic stagnation led to protests and calls for Bashir to step down. This latest wave of unrest, which started in December, has refused to die down. Sparked by rising prices of staples like bread, it quickly became a bid to bring an end to one of Africa's longest-serving leaders.